Bernard Stewart, uh, born and raised in Philadelphia. Grew up in the rec centers and the playgrounds in Philadelphia. Um, started playing basketball in the back streets of, of North Philly with the kids in my neighborhood. Or I got two older brothers that also played in Philadelphia, also played collegiately, and one of them played pro. So grew up playing against them in the house and going around the corner on the back street where we made a crate, and put one up on the pole. So, and then from, from there, Obviously came on to Simon Gratz and had some success. Well, I can't say had a little bit of success, but successful program here under Coach Ellaby and nationally ranked high school team. Then going on the next year winning player of the year and being able to choose from an array of colleges to, to go to and further my education and further my skills in basketball. Chose Temple University because um, it was a, a local school and coached by Hall of Fame coach Sean Chaney. And after four years there, went on to play in Europe for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Now talk about like having that opportunity to be coached by two legends. I mean, back to back, Ella and Chaney. Talk about that experience. Well, I mean, obviously coming in as a kid, you didn't, you know, you didn't appreciate it or know it then. But um, knowing it now, they seasoned me so well, you know, in basketball. They taught, you know, they taught me the basis of what basketball is. You know, starting with Coach L and the discipline that we had and the team chemistry that he built and having us do the things that we did, you know, that we didn't know that we were doing, but that incorporated, all incorporated into basketball. Um, him being still in my life now, every day, I just spoke to him actually before I came here to practice. Mm -hmm. um, then going on to college and being coached by, who was a legend then, John Chaney. Um, that was part of the reasons why I chose, you know, Coach Temple because he reminded me of Coach L. So the transition I thought would be easy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going from, you know, coming from here with the discipline and the expectations and the demanding of you mm -hmm. educationally and athletically. Mm -hmm. um, I went there to Temple under him, which was, you know, the, it was almost like you went from, you know, the middle school ages or from high school ages. Now as an adult, I got still around the same type of person. So it made me exactly who I am today. Exactly. And uh, talking to Coach L, he talks so much about life. Like he compared life and basketball almost as one, like teaching life lessons through yes. basketball. What are some of the life lessons you learned or was taught by those men, you know? By those men, yeah. I mean, it's so, that's a great question because that's the same thing I talk to the kids about. You know, like when, when you're supposed to be on time, you know, that's real life. You gotta be where you're supposed to be at if you have a nine to five on time. You, you're required to be, um, eligible in, in the classroom, you know, you required, that's in real life. So the life lessons they gave, like they told me, like the things we do in basketball can be incorporated into your life after basketball. You know, that's why a lot of times athletes make good people that work in the corporate world because they used to being a requirement of them to be somewhere. You know what I mean, required to do this. And you know, so those two coaches there taught me so much about life. And I think that's why I was able to be successful outside of the country because I incorporated what I was taught you know, into those places and stuff like that. I was easy to adapt because, yeah. hey, this is where I gotta be, this is what I gotta do. And that's been a requirement of me. So, you know, with those two men who have a, had an impact on so many lives, um, I try to carry that today. I always tell my kids, I always use the reference of McDonald's to them. You know, I try to make them laugh, but I use that reference, you know, like you start off you know, you don't start at McDonald's behind a cash register. You know what I mean? You gotta yeah. prove that you can come to work on time. You gotta prove that you gotta, you can do this, you can do that. Then they trust you with handling that responsibility. Exactly. You know, I try to tell the guy, because all of them want to jump and think, I'm supposed to be behind a cash register. Yeah. You know what I mean? They all think I'm supposed to be one scoring or I'm supposed to be doing this. Mm -hmm. No, it takes time. You gotta learn, you know, and, and handle your responsibilities before you can jump into that situation. Exactly. Now, also, now you talked about the fact that you traveled a lot, you traveled through, you know, been throughout the country. Like, uh, talk about that.